guys and welcome back to another video. I thought I would do a chatty full face first impressions because I've got some new makeup to try out and test so I thought what better way to do it than in a video so is I'm gonna do my skin first which is something I rarely ever do I always do my eyes first but today I'm gonna do skin so I'm gonna be using the nude by nature perfecting primer massage this in okay it smells like exotic fruits which is nice it's calmed down my redness a little bit so that's nice and my face feels really like tacky and lovely the Fenty Beauty foundation now I've only used this once and that was in a testing video and I've not used it since so I'm gonna try it again see how I get on with it so I've got the shade 150 pro filter so I'm just gonna take my regular foundation brush and just start buffing this in like I know with this foundation I don't think last time I worked quick enough with it because it is quite a quick fast drying foundation so you do have to work quite quickly it's a soft matte base so it is a soft matte finish not the sort of foundation you could dot everywhere and then blend because by the time you go to blend after you've dotted it would have dried but that is nice that's got it on lovely i think the coverage is nice it's not too heavy but then it's not too light coverage it definitely does give you some coverage now i've not actually tried the concealer from this range so if you'd like me to test out and try the concealer definitely let me know my skin looks really nice looks a lot nicer than the first time i wore this so it might be that last time i didn't like apply it quick enough and i let it dry who knows i'm just gonna go in with concealer and i've got the becca ultimate coverage Longwear concealer and i've got mine in the shade linen and I'm just going to blend this in with the same brush. I definitely say with this concealer that a little goes a long way. So I feel like maybe I've put a little bit too much on. I'm just going to share it out with a sponge. But otherwise I feel like it's a lovely colour. To highlight my face a little bit. Like so. So as you can see my face looks really highlighted and like two dimensional which it never does. So I'm now just going to cream contour. I always do this before I pop on bronzer. And I always draw this slightly higher than you think you want it. Just because that way it really gives the illusion of defined cheekbones. So I've just used the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Amber. Just to contour my treat bulge and I'm just gonna pat this on so I'm sort of patting and pressing this into the skin rather than trying to buff and blend it just because I don't want to move our foundation underneath and then lastly just blend it out around my temples and as you can see that's just given me a lot more dimension to my face I'm now going to go in with like our bronzing and blush. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Oh, I can never open this. Look how beautiful this is. So I've got two bronzers, two blushes and two highlights. So I'm going to first use the bronzers. And I'm going to take a really light brush and take Sunny Honey which is the lighter one and use this to bronze and this just sets in place that cream contour and then I'm going to take some of the Sunny Honey mix with Chop It Like It's Hot which is the darker one on an angled brush and that's just going to really sharpen up that contour I'm now going to take a bit of blusher I'm just going to mix the Pink Wink and Pink Sun together and pat this over the top on my cheekbones 
like so. Now I'm just gonna go in close. Can you see how that's like cracked and creased under there? So I'm going to bake underneath my eyes and underneath that contour before it moves any. So I'm just gonna take some of the Makeup Obsession Pure Baking Powder in transparent. Like so, I'm just going to take a little bit underneath my eyes and just leave that underneath my eyes whilst I do my eyeshadow. So I'm using something new to prime my eyelids with. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. Now I've never used this. I'm, ooh, so it's a nice invisible pink shade i'm a big like concealer person before eyeshadow but i thought i'd branch out and try something new like i never got on the hype of the urban decay eyeshadow primer i know loads of people love it but i've just never tried it so i'm just gonna pop that on and then just pat it in using my finger feels so weird not having concealer on my eyelid first but we're gonna go with it so i'm gonna use a new palette from makeup obsession and it's called be obsessed with now when i saw this this just screamed me so i mean first of all it's glittery as hell and then when I open that, they're all warm heaven shades. So we're gonna use it today. And I'm gonna start by using our transition color and then I'm gonna work our way up. So I'm just gonna start with a fluffy brush. This one's from Knit. And I'm just gonna take Essential, which is our transition color. I'm then going to take Must, which is this like warm orange and again just take this building up our crease and like I said when I saw this palette I was like mm, I need that because Makeup Obsession palettes are so affordable they're literally like between 8 and £10 which is an absolute bargain and the quality is always insane and I really like that in the Obsession palettes they're all magnetic so if you've got like a Z palette you can take them all out and stick them in a Z palette which is nice to know I'm then going to take Fan which is this colour right here and start to deepen this all up a little bit and I just think the pigment on these and the quality for the price is insane because they literally blend like a dream. Like honestly they blend so well and they are so affordable and they always have like a deal on like buy, buy one get the second half price or buy two products and get like a free lip kit or something like that which I just think is amazing. And you don't get any fallout with these or anything. So yeah, if you haven't tried Makeup Obsession eyeshadows, highly, highly recommend. I think I've got to say they're one of my favourite, like cheaper brands to use. I'm going to mix these two. And I'm just going to use this to deepen and darken up this outer corner. And I mean, if you like warm tones and you want good quality and affordable, highly recommend this. And I'm just taking this in the inner and the outer portion of the eye and making this into more like a halo eye sort of thing. I'll just take a bit of our lightest blending colour 
and just blend out all of our edges. I'm then gonna take a really precise little packer brush and literally just pack on the darker shade. I'd say the only thing this palette's missing would be a black. I mean, other than that, it's literally got everything. I'll take some of Grey's here and just use this really in the centre of the eyelid. And I use the shimmers from these palettes a lot because they're really pigmented and that's just so good. And then I just use my finger just for a tiny bit more pigment if I want it. And then I'm just going to take my brush and just blend at those edges just to make it a little bit more seamless. Like so. I'm now going to take some of uh, Fixate, which is this colour, just in my inner corner. And I'm just going to wipe away my bait. And then just blend it out the two Like so. I'm then going to take a little bit of the Collection Gram Crystals in Funk, which is a glitter liner. And I'm just going to use this and just pop a little bit over the top in the middle where I've put that shimmer. Just to make it a little bit more glitzy and a little bit more glam. You could use this to like draw a line at the top whatever you sort of feel like doing with this now i'm just going to put on some mascara i'm just gonna put on some of the clinique high impact mascara this is like their number one best selling mascara i'm now just going to add some highlight to my face and then I'm going to go off camera and pop on some lashes. So I'm just going to take some of the Obsession Fixing Glitter Mist. The two highlights in this palette, just on a little highlighting brush. So I am back. I've just put lashes on and my brows. The lashes I've used are the Kiss So Wispy Lashes. And they're beautiful, really nice. So now I'm gonna do my lips. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lip Pencil in Peekaboo Natural. Like so. Gorgeous lip colour. And I'm gonna use this Clinique lipstick in Clinique Pop Lip Colour and Primer in 02 Bare Pop. And this is currently in the Clinique Gift. So that is this makeup look, first impressions, trying new makeup look complete. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I created this look and how gorgeous the products that I have used are. And yeah, I'm really impressed with the finished outcome and I feel like these products are definitely worth a look at if you're on the hunt for some new makeup.